Okay, quick tip then. I want to show you how you can modify mask layers in Affinity Photo by using adjustments. So I've got a selection I've created here. I'm just going to jump into Selection Refinement. And I'm just going to increase the brush width, brush over the hair to mat it, like so. Okay, and then I'll also do the eyelashes down here, of course. Okay. And then I'll set the output to mask and click apply. Okay, so now we have our cutout and if I expand the layer here, we can see we've got a mask. So let's try and thicken up the hair around here. It perhaps looks a little thin from the matting. So to do this, I can add a curves adjustment from the layer menu. Then there are two things we need to do to achieve the effect we're after here. So one is we need to child layer the curves adjustment into the mask. To do that, we can click drag the curves adjustment, offer it to the mask thumbnail until we see a vertical blue bar, then release. Okay, and the second thing is to set the target to alpha. Right, so if I zoom in on the hair here, and then I click drag on this graph, add a node and bring the curve up, we can see as we bring the curve up, we thicken up the matted selection on the hair here. Okay, so far so good, but what if we don't want to apply this to the entire mask? Well, the great thing about Affinity Photo's adjustments is that they inherently have their own masks. So what this means, if I just close this dialog and perhaps move down here, is I can select the curves adjustment, then I can switch to the paintbrush tool here. Okay, I'll just increase the brush width. And then on the color panel here, I can make sure my active color is set to black. So this means we're now subtracting off the mask. Okay, and then you'll see as I hover around here, I get a real time preview of what this will look like without that curves adjustment affecting the mask. So I can just paint straight over the areas I no longer want to be influenced by the curves adjustment. As we can see here. So all in all, if I just hide this for a minute, we can limit the effect of the curves adjustment to just the top of the hair and the eyelash here. Okay, and just to wrap this up, you can achieve this kind of effect with any adjustment layer that allows you to tweak the alpha channel. So that's curves, levels, and channel mixer. Okay, so just to demonstrate this, I could use a levels adjustment found here. And again, I could child layer it into the mask by click dragging and offering it to the thumbnail until I get the vertical blue bar. Okay, then again, make sure I set the target to alpha. And I could, for example, just drag the white level to the left. And as we can see, that just once again thickens up the masking around the hair. And that's it. I hope that was just a useful little technique for you. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to check out the other video tutorials.